One of the well, two most important symbols of Easter is the Passion and the Cross, and then afterwards it's the, the Resurrection. So when it comes to religious uh, festivals and uh, religious uh, themes and meaning, these meanings are contained in symbols. Because in these religious festivals uh, are, are themes about God that we do not have the language, the full language as human beings to then talk about God. So what most religions uh, do to communicate God is they use symbols. And uh, so the, in this Easter festival, the two important symbols that uh, we turn to to get uh, the meaning behind Easter is the passion and the cross. So what is the passion? The passion is the moment in the life of Jesus where he enters into this passive mood. So the word passion comes from the Latin word passio, which means from that word passio comes the English word to be passive. So in Jesus' passion, it refers to the, the, the time of his life where he enters into this passive mood. He stops being the doer. He stops doing what he did for most of his public ministry, and that is uh, 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 visiting the sick, the poor, people who are marginalized because of uh, uh, being tagged as uh, sinners, like prostitutes and tax collectors, and uh, he stops healing. He heals a lot of people. And to the extent that people were flocking to him, he raises a few people from the dead. And uh, so Jesus, for most of his uh, public ministry, of about three years, was very active. And to the extent that uh, he had no time to rest, and then uh, we hear that he takes time away to go out to a quiet place up in the hills or out into the ocean, uh, take time to rest. So for, so for most of his public ministry, Jesus was doing a lot of things in his ministry. But when he enters into his passion, he ceases to be what he is doing and enters into this passive mode where he allows whatever the the soldiers are going, do, uh, going to do to him to let it happen and, uh, and to the point of silence, to be silent. And uh, so this is what we uh, mean by the passion. And here, dear friends, lies, I think, the big message for Easter, how we can bring change and how we can bring conversion uh, uh, total change in the way we look at the world, look at each other, and, uh, and, and, and through the, the pathway that Jesus shows us. And it's the pathway of nonviolence, it's the pathway of vulnerability, and, to, and, and, uh, and, uh, and as opposed to the power of money, weapons, and political authority. And if there is a, if, and this is the Easter message for us, that peace, shalom, the gift of the risen Lord, comes with a pathway of vulnerability that leads to community and to love. And so on behalf of the Catholic Church and the whole Christian world, we wish everyone in Fiji and all over the world the, the very peace and shalom of Easter.